You know, Trump finally found an insurance group, the Chubb Insurance Group. The uh, head of that group, uh, that company, apparently uh, got some sort of a uh, an appointment during Trump's hideous first and last presidency a few years back. Uh, so it was just payback time, you know. Um, but where is he going to get half a billion dollars to take care of uh, the second civil order? Well, not that I give a shit. I, I, I just want to see him in jail. You know, years and years and years ago, after listening to decades of the filth that poured out of the rancid bastard Rush Limbaugh's mouth, just horrible stuff, horrible stuff. Um, the only people Rush Limbaugh liked were himself and his many wives, and then eventually he sucked up to Donald Trump. But, you know, Rush was a drug user. He was an addict to um, uh, OxyContin, drove himself deaf, drove himself crazy, and finally died of uh, cancer from all those great big penis-style cigars he used to smoke, smoke. But I used to say, after a particularly filthy day, when, when he would just insult everybody who was decent, Rush Limbaugh was an absolute pig, just a grunting, filthy pig. But I remember saying over and over, you know, I, I, I just hope I outlive him. Well, I did. I haven't gone to his cemetery in uh, Missouri to piss on his grave. I don't know if I'll get there or not. But uh, the reason I mention that, aside from showing my absolute crassness, I also feel that way about the orange bastard Donald Trump. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Lori and Jeff Hardke, my sponsors tonight. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Jeff, very, very, very much. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, Lori and Jeff mentioned um, the security risks this son of a bitch poses now because of his financial trouble. Yeah, can you imagine um, if, if, if Trump were somehow to slime his way into the presidency again, everything would be up for sale. This son of a bitch would sell nuclear secrets, uh, diplomatic. He would sell everything to anybody, to the highest bidder. Uh, What a way to start a new week. A couple of uh, Trump's uh, best and brightest uh, are in deep shit. It's just the beginning. Um Peter Navarro, former Trump White House aide, has been ordered to report to prison on March 19th, eight days from now. Uh, No, he'll only be serving a four-month sentence for uh, giving the middle finger to a subpoena from the January 6th Select Committee. Uh, Navarro is was asking an appeals court, please don't make me go to prison, please. But the appeals court told him to fuck off. So, Navarro, what? Excuse me. Peter Navarro becomes the first top advisor to the Orange Bastard to serve jail time for an offense related to um, the Trump scum's effort to subvert the 2020 election. If you remember, Navarro was convicted last year on two counts of contempt of Congress refusing to provide documents and testimony to congressional investigators. I'm quoting from Politico. They put this up this morning. Uh, The the investigators were, you remember, take a look at the root causes of the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Anyway, the J6 committee subpoenaed Peter Navarro in February, two years ago, and he quickly indicated he would refuse to comply the House held Navarro in contempt two months later, and the Justice Department soon followed suit with criminal charges, yada, 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 yada. Um, the only one who, uh, you know, who should have been first in prison with this filthy dumpster dweller, uh, Steve Bannon, but somehow Bannon found a judge who allowed Bannon to stay out of prison while he appeals the conviction against him. Oh, well. So Peter Navarro goes to prison, and they remember that asshole Ronnie Jackson? who served as a personal physician to Trump and actually to Obama? Anyway, he he went from being a White House physician to being a Christian fascist uh, congressman. And he regularly talked about and bragged about his uh, military bona fides. Um, he... Uh, 
on his congressional website, which is still up, he writes this. As a retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral with nearly three decades of military service, I understand the... Well, he's not a retired admiral anymore. Uh, In July, two years ago, in 2022, the Navy took his stars away following a damaging Pentagon Inspector General's report that substantiated allegations about his shitty behavior as a White House physician. Um, it's a previously unreported decision by the Navy, which con- was confirmed by a, a, a current defense official and a former U.S. official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss sensitive... So, uh, Jackson is now a retired Navy captain. You're not an admiral, you lying son of a bitch, so why don't you change what it says on your deceptive website? The demotion, uh, obviously, carries significant financial burden in addition to a, uh, well, for some people, maybe not this jack-off, but the social stigma of being stripped of rank within military circles. You go from being a rear admiral to being a captain, and uh, you have shit all over your face. Trust me. Uh, Anyway, even though he got the demotion, Jackson continues to refer to himself as a retired rear admiral, including the statements released since the Navy reclassified him as a retired captain. Well, do, 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 do. There's more to this story, but... Screw it. It it just, you know, I I, I just hope, I just hope that the wheels of justice, although they are turning so goddamn slowly, it's driving me crazy, but I hope it catches up with all of these people. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy. 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial But we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.